Let's welcome you back to our main event to Friday Night Smackdown. Brock Lesnar. I repeat, Brock Lesnar is ready to destroy, demolish, take out, neutralize, assassinate, break. How many more? How many more words do, is there to use? Can you put Brock Lesnar in a match? <clears throat> this should be an interesting match. As he takes on the Fury Fighters, he's not been too happy with Paul Heyman working with the Fury Fighters. And the Fury Fighter is looking ready as ever. I don't think the Fury Fighters were at all in any way. You were saying? I don't think the Fury Fighters are at all nervous about this match, especially with their momentum and ongoing matches that they've had recently taken out tough competition just not too long ago they took out the Usos I want some suplexes, so Brock Lesnar's gonna give him some German suplexes. Both for a drop kick, but Brock Lesnar denied it into a fallaway slam. Looks like Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar is gonna be in control for a good while. Zack Saban puts him back in control. Doesn't last long. Oh! He had something in mind, but Zack Saban a little bit quicker. What's this? And into the barricade goes Zack Saban. <laughs> Zack Saban intended to make Brock Lesnar tap, maybe, maybe just targeting the limbs, make him a little bit weak, and doesn't even take seconds to get out of that. We're talking about Brock Lesnar, and Brock Lesnar's in a tremendous amount of things. Just about a year ago, he defeated Goldberg for the Universal title at WrestleMania. And not only that, made himself known as a unstoppable, destructive Superstar in the ring that can break you in seconds back as we turn in 2014 2013 when you had matches with Triple H and John Cena 
And here we go, the free first back in the match. And into a drop kick. They're working together. But doesn't even get a one. And that don't show you how resilient Brock Lesnar is. I don't know what does it again. Ethan are not too happy with it. Keep this in mind. If Brock Lesnar wins this match, is that going to give him full rights to have Paul Heyman be his advocate again? Is Paul Heyman even going to care? Or has he moved on? Personally, I want to go with moved on. And what a huge German suplex. Time, but Ethan Miller counted it to a running neck breaker. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He went for something. But he caught Ethan. He caught him. In the win of five. Goes for the pin to end the match. Wasting little time and Zack Saban breaks it up. Well, Lesnar not too happy. Looks like he's going to take them both out at once. And the corner we go. Bounce up into the corner. Went for something, but he counted it. And Lesnar lifts him up into a fisherman suplex. Almost exploder. And targeting the armor block doesn't go on top rope. Going full Eddie Guerrero. With the top rope arm breaker. Remember some type of move there, but Ethan a little bit quicker. And wait a minute, wait a minute. They may be taking out the beast. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The Fury Fighters have proved that the dominant force. Not looking too good for Brock Lesnar. If they're going to beat Brock Lesnar, they're going to prove they've earned everything in this company. A look at that drop kick one more time and oh, right to the gut of Brock Lesnar. As Ethan Miller celebrates in the ring, Zack Saban goes for the pin. And not even a one. Looks like they've angered the beast. They've angered the beast. Backdrop suplex. And into a spine buster. My God. Well, I think I'm kind of taking back what I said earlier. If they did anything just now, they angered it. Goes for a suplex city. But Zack Sabre a little bit quicker countered it. And wait a minute. Go with something wild tossing me outside the ring. Go to the other side. And wait a minute. This could be a drop kick or tornado DDT. And it's a drop kick to knock down Brock Lesnar. It looks to be that Paul Heyman has chose the right side. Although Paul Heyman is not, is not ringside for Fury Fighters or Brock Lesnar. Because that means undecided. Who knows, but as far as I'm concerned, if he's backstage watching this on a TV monitor, I'm pretty sure he has his choice as Brock Lesnar keeps fighting back. 
And wait a minute, going to the turnbuckle post. And oh, slamming him into the turnbuckle post. And to the outside. Wait a minute. Going right after Ethan Miller now. I don't think Lesnar got the match he wanted. I think he wanted to be a turn of the tag, but it's Brock Lesnar. He'll take what he can get. And saving a little bit ahead of, a little bit ahead of the game. This match rolls out on the outside. Stomping away at Saban. And with the strikes kick to the kick to the knee of Lesnar. He gets back in this match. <clears throat> Goes straight for a leaping elbow drop. I mean, me personally, if you want to go for an elbow drop, you have to go higher up in the ring. We go for some type of belly to belly. And wait a minute, a little bit quicker. Finally! Landing the suplex city to Zack Saban. This match has been unpredictable from the start. And Lesnar's going to keep it that way. Well, maybe not Lesnar, but this match. <laughs> gets the one, so I guess they're weakening the beast. And down goes Miller. Disrespectful boot to the face. And into a drop kick. What agility from Saban. And Irish wit. And oh, he counted it into a German suplex. My God. If Saban's out on the floor on the outside, but covering Ethan Miller is stuck taking on Brock Lesnar all by himself. And over the ropes. At this point, I don't know who to vote for. Lesnar gets a control, but Ethan Miller stuns Brock Lesnar with those punches. And now unloading. Not even about winning anymore. As they go back in the ring, Ethan Miller may be looking for a super kick. Maybe, maybe. More double team with Zack Saban and Ethan Miller. And wait a minute, what is this? Springboard clothesline. We've seen this not too long ago in their match with the Usos. And it proved very effective going top rope now. Zack Saban may be going to end it. And oh! What an inverted Phoenix splash. As we see it twice and how beautiful that was from Zack Saban. And almost takes out the beast.
<laughs> and that Zach Saban has made Brock Lesnar tap out. Did I just say that aloud? Did I? Did I just say Brock Lesnar tapped out? The Fury Fighters made Brock Lesnar tap out. I don't I don't believe this. Lesnar gave up? Well, well that's been a minute event for SmackDown and we'll see you very soon in Raw.